This is Rindon with Rindon.com. In this video, I'll be reviewing 10 graphic design programs that are excellent programs. Um, they're also 100% free to download and use for both commercial and personal use. Um, most of these are also cross-platform, meaning they'll work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating systems. This first one we're looking at is Inkscape. Inkscape is a program similar to Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector image editing program, uh, which means all the art done in this is vector images. They can be scaled to different sizes without losing clarity or without becoming pixelated. This is an excellent program for um, web design as well as print design. Um, you can do, uh, a lot of people use it for making cartoons. You can, as you can see, you can create very realistic looking objects uh, with this program. So definitely one to take a look at. Um, if you're into graphic design, this will be a, one to, a program to add to your tool list. The next program we'll look at is GIMP. It's a Photoshop alternative, very similar to Photoshop. Um, so it's a photo editing tool, a bitmap image editor. Um, has this, many of the similar tools that Photoshop would have. Um, this tool can also be used for professional, uh, it has very professional results. Um, it has various filters, tools, effects, uh, and whatnot. So it'll be a similar experience to using Photoshop uh, with this program here. Um, it, you, it has the ability to work with layers, um, keeps good track of your history, and uh, you can also import and export Photoshop brushes as well as Photoshop documents. The next program we'll look at is Scribus. Scribus is a um, desktop publishing tool. It's similar to Adobe InDesign and Cork Express. Um, ideal if you're producing a magazine, a newspaper, um, calendar, yeah, you can even do business cards, anything that's uh, related to print design this program's good for. gives you good manipulation over the text. Um, you can control the letting, the uh, font size, styles, everything. Um, so a good program to look into. The next one we'll cover is Composer. Composer is uh, similar to Dreamweaver. Not as powerful, um, but uh, still a great tool for if you're creating web pages and you don't have a very strong grasp of, on HTML. Um, you can view the HTML code, but you can also just manipulate and um, add images, add text, add links. Um, so you can create a web page using this tool. It's a, a graphical tool for creating web pages and doing web design. Um, next tool, oh, I can show you too. We can uh, you can create tables with it, which is a, n a nice feature that I like actually. Just about the only feature I use in this program to tell you the truth. <laughs> but uh, um, the next one we'll look at is FontForge. Um, FontForge is a font editing program, so you can import and export various uh, types of fonts. I mean, uh, types. Yeah, I guess different types. Um, but here's a little. Nope, that's it. We're done with this one. Okay. So uh, Pencil is the next one we're going to look at. Pencil is a 2D animation program. Um, very simple. As you can see, it kind of reminds me of the Microsoft Paint program, but it just gives you the, the ability to add different layers, different different frames, yeah, adding frames down here. Um, and uh, yeah, well, here you go. You can loop it and just watch your video. Very basic animation, but you can create some pretty cool animations with this program and it's not very difficult to learn. Um, export your animations in different formats. Um, Synfig Studio, if you want to get into intense two-dimensional animation, this program is very full featured, has a steep learning curve to it, um, but you can do some pretty amazing stuff with it. So, uh, tell you the truth, I haven't gotten to work with this program very much, but it uh, I know it has a lot of powerful features to it. So definitely something to check out, add to your list of programs to look at, I guess. Um, Blender is a 3D animation software, similar to 3D Studio Max or Maya. Um, great program. Also has a kind of a steep learning curve. Um, they've created entire games with this. It has an animation uh, side to it. Here's a, a uh, animation of a dolphin, or just this is just the, the uh, design of the dolphin here, and I'll show you a rendered animation of it right here so you can see it's pretty powerful if you have the time to uh, spend learning how to do it like I said it's it does take some time to invest in this prop into this program alright the next one is Google SketchUp Google SketchUp is one of the programs that's actually not it's uh, there's a free version of it um, but it is limited there's also a paid version of it uh, it's an excellent software though for just uh, like it says, sketching up different things, 
Um, I like to use it for architecture, but you can create just about anything with it um, on a micro level, or you can create, uh, like a lot of the buildings on Google Earth have been created using Google SketchUp. So uh, I'll pull this up again here and just take a look. You can you can do interior views too. This is still Google SketchUp we're looking at. So it's a powerful program, um, and it's not very difficult to learn. Um, the next one we will look at is, I can't even pronounce this one, but it's a, uh, I don't know how I say it. It's a batch image resizing and renaming tool. So you can, and, and conversion tool as well. You can convert between different image formats. Um, you can rename if you have a thousand pictures and you want to rename them uh, using a system, you can do that. If you, you can also resize them, scale them down to thumbnails. Um, you can crop them. You can, if you have a, a bad batch of photos, you can brighten them all at the same time. So that's a good one to take a look at. Um, an easier version of this is Pix Resizer that I've usually used. Um, and it's just really simple. You select your source file and your destination. You can create thumbnails very easily using this program, and it's it's a resizer only. So, yeah, these are the programs. Um, keep watching for my other videos, and thanks for watching.